where you had me from the start by the way you said the hi everyone kerry here welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing great today so today i have another video for you guys and this time i decided to build a tiny house that it's something that i haven't built in a while now i don't know why i stopped building them they're so so fun to build but i did want to build something like this and that's why i decided to come up with something that kind of looks a little suburban but i was going for just comfy tiny and colorful so yeah it's kind of a suburban build <laughs> but I, I tried to use a lot of the items from the new expansion pack and and just try to have a build that looked really um like for a teenager or maybe for a young adult or something like that i know that it's not common to have teenagers living by themselves but it's something that you can do in the game so if you do that kind of gameplay uh you can just use this build and it's actually a tiny house because it's 48 tiles out of 64 so it's considered a tier 2 tiny house in this um in the game and yeah every time that i build tiny houses i try to use the um, the tile counter from tiny living so i know exactly that it's actually considered a tiny house or a small house or a micro home what's the other one? yeah that's the other one and in this case it's a tiny home so yeah i try to make it really um comfy and cutesy and i think i accomplished that i used these um flowers you know, that i never use because it's not something that i see usually here so i i see a lot of people using them quite often and adding them in all the windows and things like that and it's something that is just not normal in here at least for me it's something that i've never seen before in a house like in real life but in this case i wanted to use it because i was going for something like uh cutesy and those flowers are definitely cute <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys like it i didn't use them very much only in that uh, in those two windows there but it's still i think i think it's still really cute like i don't know it, it's a tiny home and tiny homes tend to be really cute because they're tiny <laughs> but yeah uh what, what do you guys think about uh, talking about different packs and things like that what do you think about the leak of the new um kit that we're supposed to be getting the desert themed kit i'm actually really excited because i love i love building an oasis springs and i do like building things that are kind of deserty and things like that so i know that we already saw like the cover uh, from the kit but we don't know that much about it and i've at least so far because this video is being pre-recorded so <laughs> if by today we don't have any other um leaks or any information so yeah that's the only thing that i've seen so far <laughs> but in case uh, you see this video and we already have more information well let me know what you think because uh yeah i'm not gonna mention any new information here <laughs> but yeah i i'm really excited i want to see what what the sims team comes with and what they show us and build kits are always welcoming here i do think that it would be great to have more themed kits like specific for i don't know an, an age in a specific like when we got the, the uh, little campers kit or i don't know something more specific of a theme like when we got the industrial love kit or the courtyard oasis one because they give a lot of room for us to try and build different stuff but if it's like i don't know um just like a kitchen kit or a living room kit or things like that i don't think it's too versatile or it's not you cannot do that much i mean you can only do kitchens or a specific room <laughs> in the build but yeah i hope that this new kit that that we're getting is cool i mean i'm sure it's gonna be i don't i haven't been disappointed with any of the build kits that we've got so far so i don't think i'm gonna be disappointed with this one <laughs> but yeah we're in the interior of the build now i showed you the floor plan because it was it was literally one wall <laughs> but yeah it's just the wall in the bathroom but you've seen me decorating a lot in here i didn't cut that much from the video i left many of the parts in here because the video was already short and i didn't want to cut everything just in the way that i do it all the time so i decided to keep things like this when i'm uh, just uh, furnishing the the shelves and things like that and i put things in that bay window there 
And I hate that the lighting makes them look in a different color that it's not the original. I mean, the thing with the plates and things like that, I don't know how it's called. Uh, it, it was supposed to be white and it looks kind of bluish and the succulents also, they, they don't look in the same color, but that's only because of the lighting in there. So yeah, it's kind of a detail. I don't think the Sims team is going to fix something like that because I, unless you have... Um, unless you have the red shell or you pay a lot of attention to those kinds of things it, people don't usually put things on those windows so yeah i wish uh the lighting wasn't a problem in there but it still looks nice i think and this is the bedroom section of the build i at first i thought that it would be cool to use a wall divider or something like that to just divide the the room like the bedroom from the living room and the rest of the build but i couldn't do it i ended up just having the this bunk bed with the desk and then i add um that uh closet thing like the dresser from cottage living the one that has the mirror and i couldn't add a wall divider because the space was too small so it didn't make any sense to have something like that so yeah i actually end up moving the dining table to the outside so if i don't know if you want to play in this house and your sims uh they will either eat on the couch or they would have to go outside and eat on the table but i think they would more likely eat on this on the sofa maybe on the couch like watching tv because i added a tv and everything uh, i decided to leave the fruit cake in there because it was a cool touch and i wanted to keep it so yeah also another thing from this build that i really liked and it's something that i don't usually do is that it's kind of mis mismatched so the wall like the wood colors are not the same the it's not on a specific style it's not like modern or suburban or i don't know um suburban is not an interior style what am i talking about <laughs> but yeah it, you know what i mean it's not modern it's not bohemian it's just cute <laughs> that was the style that i went for cute and that coffee table I've never used it before. I know it comes with a new expansion pack, but I, I haven't been able to use it. So I used it in here and that color switch is actually really cute. As I was going for a more cutesy style, I really liked it and I think I'm going to be using it more often because it's a really cute uh, coffee table and that poster as well. I haven't explored the high school years expansion pack that much from what I can see. I used a lot of new items that I've never used before and I think I still have a lot, a lot to cover with the pack. But yeah, we're in the exterior now. You saw the bathroom, it was just uh, a shower and a toilet because I didn't add um, a sink in there because I couldn't fit it and I really wanted to have the window in here. So yeah, I decided that your sims can just use the sink from the kitchen and I don't think that's a big of a deal. At least in my gameplay, my sims uh, usually use the sink in the kitchen instead of using the one in the bathroom. I don't know why, because they're functional, but they don't use it. They go to the kitchen and that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> but yeah, here I didn't exactly know what to do with the backyard area and actually with all the landscaping in general because I already did some at the beginning of the video but in this case I, I wasn't sure I wanted to have like a backyard, a proper backyard. I wanted to have more of a front yard because it, it was cuter than just having a backyard and so I moved the build to the back a little bit and in here I will show you that oh this is the first time I think that I use that terrain color actually I don't think I've used it before we got that with cottage living and I don't think I've ever used it before maybe once or twice when I was um just exploring the new pack but I've never used it since there and I'm not even sure that I used it before <laughs> but yeah here I added the kiddie pool so your sim can actually uh, hang, uh, hang in there and just relax and I added this um, platform in here because it was looking kind of weird but then for the screenshots and also for the thumbnail I actually changed this like I swapped it with the things that I'm gonna be adding in this side of the build I add a pergola and I add some plant box and things like that and I moved those things uh, so I swapped them because it didn't look that good in the order that you will see it in here but I 
yeah, if you download this build from the gallery, uh, the pergola is going to be on the right side of the build and the kitty pool with the lounge chair is gonna be on the left side of the of the build so yeah but the items are still exactly the same i used the same terrain paint that i'm gonna be using here i use the same pergola i i used everything just i swapped them <laughs> so yeah we're heading to the end of the video now i hope you guys liked it if you did please remember to like this video also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on social media the links are all in the description down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots goodbye we keep it right there don't you stress the flow you're trying to pick the pace up we should take it slow baby keep your focus don't you make me change my mind if you love me baby don't you switch up the vibe baby don't you baby don't you baby don't you switch up the vibe baby don't you baby don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe.